But one athlete who was adored, adored as a TV god of physical challenges and competition has really come clean with a lot of dirty details about his 20 years of addiction to steroids. The book, a compelling read, I have to tell you, is titled Gladiator, a true story of Roy's rage and redemption. We want to welcome its author and the man who lived it all, Dan Clark. You knew him and loved him as Nitro of the original American Gladiators. How are you, Dan? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for having me here. Are you kidding? This is a story, it couldn't be more timely. Yeah, both Mikhail and I couldn't put the book down this weekend. Fabulous Let, book. Let's start with how it started for you. Let's talk to us about how it started because I have a feeling it's very similar to how a lot of kids are starting with steroids. How did it go? Well, it's in the service of the American dream. You know, you, you want to be successful. You want to rise from obscurity to, to be something. So in 1982, I got injured as a freshman in college and uh, I saw my career, my dream evaporate. So I went to a, a doctor. You got you to realize back at this time it was legal. Uh, when the fir a guy first told me who I saw in the gym was huge, I said, what are you doing? You look great. He said, I take steroids. Mm -hmm. I said, what is that? I didn't even know what they were. He said, they're the things that make you bigger, stronger, faster. And I said, are they safe? He says, well, they have to be. I get them from a doctor. So I drove up to the San Gabriel Valley. I got them from a doctor, and he told me, you know, this is what they do. And right there in the office, I took my first injection, and... Um, you know, from there it was, you know, 20 years. It was amazing. What I love about your book is it's so honest. It's so raw and honest, and you talk about everything that you went through that a lot of people probably wouldn't talk about, including when you played for the Rams, right? Mm -hmm. I want to know, were the football players taking steroids back then? Did they talk about it back then? What was the situation? Well, first a disclaimer. I did play, but it was only for like half of a season. You know, I, I, okay. I, I'm very Couple honest games. in who I yeah. was and what my accomplishments were. I'm not saying, wow, you know, I can, I can <laughs> yeah. be a representation of all the professional football. But at that time, we talked about it. Again, it wasn't illegal. It was a different time. At that time, we talked about it like uh, people talk about vitamins and protein. They're, they were very prevalent. I don't think people have this understanding or awareness, and I certainly did not have it, that there's an addictive quality to steroids. I thought it was something you kind of elect to do or not do. Um, for me, it was very addictive. Uh, it took me 20 years to quit. It took me, you know, to find the fortitude that, you know, I was enough as a man, as a human being. You know, my, my kryptonite, my Achilles is always, I never thought I was enough. And then I, I use these things to build me up, you know, to, to be somebody. So the steroids themselves may not be addictive, but what they produce... They, 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 are, addictive. Oh, they, are, they addictive. are addictive. They are because addictive because everything they give you, they give you aggression, they give you increased sexual drive, I mean, you're insatiable, they give you strength. But they also, when you start taking steroids, your body stops producing testosterone. So you're at a testosterone deficiency. So when you're off, all those things that are great that you think are going to be there forever, they they're actually gone. I mean, you can't perform as a, as a man. You can't rise to the occasion. You're lethargic. Uh, you don't want to work out and you lose the weight. And they say there's drugs that help the side effects. And, and the first one they told me to take was HCG, which is human chronic anatropin, which is actually taken from pregnant women's urine. So mm -hmm. you're taking something from pregnant women's urine to counter a, a side effect of steroids. Sounds like, it sounds like, it's like a snowball of, uh, you know, and, and then you cycle. get a, a vicious cycle and that kind of Insidious. stuff. Insidious. Yeah, 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 and now they, t they also talk about a lot about the roid rage and that kind of stuff. And there was one time at Gladiators, I guess you, 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 you kind of really took down somebody in that. Do you get that anger? or, or? It, that, That's one of the biggest things that's contested in the community yeah. right now. People who are on steroids, like I was, oh, there's no such thing as roid rage. But now that I've been off and clean for six years, I can look back at the eyes of someone, you know, with the clear eyes of someone who used to be a user and say, oh, of course there's roid rage. That's what that was. Um, my best friend in the world, a guy I loved. I mean, we were best friends. We did everything together. We ended up in a bloody fist fight during, Palm Sp uh, during spring break at Palm Springs when there were girls in bikinis, there was sex in the air, and we're pummeling each other on the ground, and, and that's roid rage. You know, there's so many, you talk about so many side effects in the book, and that's one of the best things about the book. When I was reading it, I thought every 18-year-old boy, or maybe girl too as well, because you talk about that, should read this book, to hear how damaging it was to you. And parents should read it too. Parents should read it because it'll educate uh, the psychological need and addiction. Um, and yeah, some of the side effects I had is I remember when I was playing professional football in Italy, and yeah, they do play football over there, I remember I was taking this drug called Parabol, and they told me it was toxic, and I got huge gains, but I remember one night I um, went to the bathroom and, and I urinated, and I looked, and I was, you know, urinating blood. Now that all this stuff is illegal, and it is in the news, is it still as prevalent, though? Is it still as easy to get for, you know, like, people to get it out in the street or whatever? Yeah, you can get it anywhere. I mean, there's guys at some health food stores who have it under the counter who sell it. There's, you know, guys in the gym. It, it's out there. And, and you know, and, it, and it's, uh, I, 
I think the difference was I didn't know what the side effects were. Yeah. I didn't know how toxic it was. Now this is all in the open. You have to be a real idiot to take them. And if I could take it all over again, I would have never touched steroids. Well, I got to tell you, this book, we keep saying it's a compelling read. It really is. Uh, it's titled Gladiator, A True Story of Roy's Rage and Redemption. You can learn more about Dan Clark uh, in this incredible book. It's a really brave journey you're on, Dan. I got to commend you for that. Oh, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for spending time with us.